An aircraft registration is a unique alphanumeric string that identifies a civil aircraft, in similar fashion to a license plate on an automobile. In accordance with the Convention on International Civil Aviation all aircraft must be registered with the National Aviation Authority and they must carry proof of this registration in the form of a legal document called a Certificate of Registration at all times when in operation. Most countries also require the aircraft registration to be imprinted on a permanent fireproof plate mounted on the fuselage for the purposes of post-fire post-crash aircraft accident investigation. Because aeroplanes airplanes typically display their registration numbers on the aft fuselage just forward of the tail the registration is often referred to as the tail number. Although each aircraft registration is unique, some countries allow it to be reused when the aircraft has been sold, destroyed or retired. For example, N3794N is assigned to a Mooney M20F. It had been previously assigned to a Beechcraft Bonanza. Also note that an individual aircraft may be assigned different registrations during its existence. This can be because the aircraft changes ownership, jurisdiction of registration, or in some cases for vanity reasons. International Standards The first use of aircraft registrations was based on the radio call signs allocated at the London International Radio Telegraphic Conference in 1913. This was modified by agreement by the International Bureau at Bern and published on April 23, 1913. Although initial allocations were not specifically for aircraft but for any radio user, the International Air Navigation Convention held in Paris in 1919 made allocations specifically for aircraft registrations, based on the 1913 call sign list. The agreement stipulated that the nationality marks were to be followed by a hyphen then a group of four letters that must include a vowel. At the International Radio Telegraph Convention at Washington in 1927, the list of markings was revised and adopted from 1928. These allocations are the basis of the currently used registrations. The markings have been amended and added to over the years and the allocations and standard are managed by the International Civil Aviation Organization. Article 20 of the Chicago Convention on International Civil Aviation requires that all signatory countries register aircraft over a certain weight with the National Aviation Authority. Upon registration, the aircraft receives its unique registration, which must be displayed prominently on the aircraft. Annex 7 to the Convention on International Civil Aviation describes the definitions, location, and measurement of nationality and registration marks. The aircraft registration is made up of a prefix selected from the country's call sign prefix allocated by the International Telecommunication Union and the registration suffix. Depending on the country of registration, this suffix is a numeric or alphanumeric code and consists of one to five digits or characters respectively. The ICAO provides a supplement to Annex 7 which provides an updated list of approved nationality and common marks used by various countries. Country-specific usage When painted on the fuselage, the prefix and suffix are usually separated by a dash. When entered in a flight plan, the dash is omitted. In some countries that use a number suffix rather than letters, like the United States, South Korea, and Japan, the prefix and suffix are connected without a dash. Aircraft flying privately usually use their registration as their radio call sign, but many aircraft flying in commercial operations use the ICAO airline designator or a company call sign. In some instances, it may be sufficient to simply display the suffix letters, with the country prefix omitted. For example, Gliders registered in Australia would omit the VH prefix and simply display the suffix. Obviously, this is only suitable where the aircraft does not fly in the airspace of another country. Even if the suffix usually consists of alphabetical characters in a certain country, gliders and ultralights may sometimes use digits instead. For example, in Germany, DABCD will be a powered airplane while D1234 is a glider. In Australia, Early glider registration suffixes began with the letters GAU, and it is not uncommon to find such gliders only displaying the last two letters of the suffix, as they lack the range to travel internationally. For example, VHGIQ would simply be displayed as IQ. Different countries have different registration prefixes, 
Canadian registrations start with C, British with G, German with D, and so forth. A comprehensive list is tabulated below. United States In the United States, the registration number is commonly referred to as an N number, because all aircraft registered there have a number starting with the letter N. An alphanumeric system is used because of the large numbers of aircraft registered in the United States. An N number may only consist of 1 to 5 characters, must start with a digit other than 0, and cannot end in a run of more than 2 letters. In addition, N numbers may not contain the letters I or O, due to their similarities with the numerals 1 and 0. Each alphabetic character in the suffix can have one of 24 discrete values, while each numeric digit can be one of 10, except the first, which can take on only 9 values. This yields a total of 915,399 possible registration numbers in the namespace, though certain combinations are reserved either for government use or for other special purposes. With so many possible calls, radio shortcuts are used. Normally when flying entirely within the United States, an aircraft would not identify itself starting with N, since that is assumed. Also, after initial contact is made with an aircraft control site, only the last two or three characters are typically used. The following are the combinations that could be used, N1 to N9 a Euro Federal Aviation Administration internal use only, N1A to N9Z, N1AA to N9ZZ, N10 to N99 a Euro Federal Aviation Administration internal use only, N10A to N99Z, N10AA to N99ZZ, N100 to N999, N100A to N999Z, N100AA to N999ZZ, N1002, N9999, N1000 A to N9999 Z, N10000 to N99999. An older aircraft may have a second letter in its identifier, identifying the category of aircraft. This additional letter is not actually part of the aircraft identification. Aircraft category letters have not been included on any registration numbers issued since January 1, 1949, but they still appear on antique aircraft for authenticity purposes. The categories were, C equals airline, commercial and private, G equals glider, L equals limited, R equals restricted, S equals state, X equals experimental, for example, NX211, the Ryan NYP aircraft flown by Charles Lindbergh as the Spirit of St. Louis, was registered in the experimental category. There is a unique overlap in the United States with aircraft having a single number followed by two letters and radio call signs issued by the Federal Communications Commission to amateur radio operators holding the amateur extra class license. For example, AN4YZ is, on the one hand, a Cessna 206 registered to a private individual in California, while N4YZ is also issued to an amateur radio operator in North Carolina. Decolonization and independence The impact of decolonization and independence on aircraft registration schemes has varied from place to place. Most countries, upon independence, have had a new allocation granted, taken from either an existing ITU allocation or the former country's ITU allocation. For example, after partition in 1947, India retained the VT designation used by the British Raj while Pakistan adopted the AP designation from the newly allocated ITU call signs APAASZ. Hong Kong, which formerly used the VRH designation, had the VIA replaced with the Chinese B upon the 1997 handover to China, resulting in aircraft designations with only four letters in total. List of countries' regions and their registration prefixes and patterns, notes, has not been used on any aircraft previously. Besides the United Nations, intergovernmental organizations such as the European Union and NATO do not have the power to create aircraft registrations. NATO has registered its aircraft with Luxembourg. Pre-1928 allocations, note, in the suffix pattern, N represents a number, X represents a letter, notes, adopted at the International Commission for Air Navigation meeting of October 13, 1919. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of July 13, 1922. 
adopted at the ICAN meeting of October 25, 1922. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of February 28, 1923. The ICAN meeting of February 28, 1923 amended Ecuador's marks to EU, Haiti's to HE, and Uruguay's marks to CM. They were restored to their original marks at the following meeting on June 26. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of June 26, 1923. Amended at the ICAN meeting of June 26, 1923. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of March 3, 1924. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of October 14, 1924. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of April 6, 1925. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of October 6, 1925. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of November 3, 1926. Adopted at the ICAN meeting of April 25, 1927. See also, List of aircraft registration prefixes, Belgian aircraft registration and serials, List of aircraft by tail number, serial number, tail code, United Kingdom aircraft registration, United Kingdom military aircraft serials, United States military aircraft serials, references. External links